Hey, it's Madison Chase with Paz TV, where we talk about real, inspiring, and positive content. And we're at the Merge Summit, and I'm talking to the poet, the activist, the husband. Are you a father, too? Yes, I am. And a father. Now, what brings you to the Merge Summit? Oh, uh, well, I'm here just celebrating uh, what God is doing through Merge. Uh, today is the actual Merge Awards, and we're here uh, celebrating some people who have been making moves in our culture and in our, in our community. We're excited about it. Now, speaking of making moves in our community, I know a lot of people don't know about P4CM. So I want to know about P4CM. I want to know about Exodus and Almost Saved. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you went deep. Oh, P4CM is Passion for Christ Movement. Uh, we support Passion for Christ Movement. Uh, they put on an event called Rhetoric uh, once a year, which is an awesome event where people from all over the world come to hear people challenge people with spoken word, uh, creativity, and all sorts of good things to allow their hearts to be enriched and I encourage people to attend that show rhetoric once a year every summer is not to be missed uh, you asked about Exodus and Almost Saved those are two of uh, my poems Exodus is a very transparent piece about overcoming uh, sexual uh, immorality challenges that I, I went through growing up all my life and even into my marriage it's a piece that no one wants to miss and it definitely steps on some toes so I encourage you to watch that on YouTube um, as well as Almost Saved that was my first poem uh, released with P4CM it's a poem that challenges people not to be almost saved but to completely surrender their lives to Christ that also steps on toes but guess what it's, it's in a good way so you look I'll, I'd encourage you to watch that piece as well okay now you talk a lot about just the merge summit is about positive and merging faith and entertainment uh, so I'm gonna give you a challenge the challenge is I want, I'm gonna give you three words and I want you to come up with like a poem. Oh my goodness. Uh, so the three words are real, inspiring, and positive. Real, inspiring, and positive. I'm gonna make it real simple. Uh, in order to in order to be inspiring, you have to be real. And in order to overcome the negativity, you have to stay positive. That's all I got. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, now tell us about the uh, the autumn tour, the Poets of Autumn tour. This autumn, uh, this fall, we're uh, going to be releasing the second installment of the Poets in Autumn tour, featuring myself, Genetics, Preston Perry, Jackie Hill Perry, and an artist named Chris Webb. We'll be having guest worship artists from all across the country join us for a night never to be forgotten. Uh, I encourage everyone to go to thepiatour.com to get your tickets. It's going to be phenomenal. Okay, now last question. We want to keep up with you on all your social media, so give us the drops. All right, I just want to say that I talk to anyone who hits me up on my social media, so if you hit me up, I will reach back out to you. My handle is Words by Ezekiel on everything, so that's Words by Ezekiel, spelled E-Z-E-K-I-E-L. And last thing, can you just do, uh, well, not, okay, this is next to the last thing, because I want to get a ussy, because I missed you at P4CM. Uh -huh. So if you could just say, hey, this is Ezekiel, and you're watching Pod, you got that. What's up, everybody? This is Ezekiel, and now you are watching Paz TV, real, inspiring, and positive. Thank you. Okay, so Ezekiel, there has been some controversy because the two candidates that are running for our president, a lot of people have different things to say, and they're very polarizing individuals. So some people are saying not to vote. So what do you say to those people, young people and people in our generation that are saying they're not going to vote? What do you say to those people? I say if you're not going to vote, then don't complain. You can't live in a society where you're not willing to take a step forward to make a change. And with a vote, you have a voice. And so I encourage you to use your voice. If not, don't use it to complain when things don't look the way you want it to look. So I just encourage you, be that voice, be that change, take a step, go out and vote. Amen. Thank you.